Hello everybody, this is Solar Tiger with another wind power update video. Today is Wednesday the 10th of December and the time now is probably 10 past 10 in the evening. I'm just showing you some more about my Rutland 504. The weather has been pretty windy. Last night was very windy and the turbine was spinning like mad. Uh, we have low pressure in our weather at the moment which means it's very windy. In the north of the country they have been experiencing gale force winds. In my region where I live we are forecasted to get very strong winds on Friday. So if I come to the meter you will see that last night, that is Tuesday night, the wind turbine peaked at 21.3 watts. That's the highest I've ever seen. And a current of 1.57 amps. Within so since 10 o'clock last night we produced 1.19 that is just wait for it to come round we have produced 1.196 amp hours that is exactly 12 watt hours so that's the highest production I've seen in a 24 hour period uh, the 21 watts was produced when the turbine was connected directly to the meter and the charge controller that is with the voltage converter bypassed I found that that works better when the wind is sufficiently strong that you can get more than 13 volts out directly from the wind turbine which was very windy last night at the moment I have it switched through the voltage converter because the wind is not quite strong enough by itself to get to the battery voltage. If I go direct at the moment I can get up to about 8 or 9 volts but that's not high enough to charge the batteries so I am now in the, the switch is in the position where it routes the charge through the voltage converter and as you can see the green charging light is on and you can see that the voltage coming out of the converter is over 13 volts it's just dipped a bit now as you see it comes back up again the solar today has been okay it's nothing wonderful we peaked at 64.1 watts from the solar panels today which was a current of 1.72 amps we produce 3.56 amp hours and 119.1 watt hours. That is okay for this time of year, but not overly great. So I am using the battery charger. You can just see the lights on it. The lighting is not bright in this room. I'm using the mains battery charger to top up the batteries. I haven't used the char the charger for several days now so I'm just boosting the voltage on the batteries a bit because it's not good to let your batteries go low at the moment the battery voltage is 13.42 volts although I have the charger connected at the moment and my DC loads are just over 9 watts I am running one LED light I am charging my iPad and iPod and I am running the wireless internet router in the room next door so that is the load so I am just boosting the batteries a bit with the battery charger so in this very windy period this is the highest amount of power that I've had out of the wind turbine I'm thinking now that it is rated at 50 watts 
maximum that to get that I will have to have a very strong wind probably like gale force to get that much power and if it blew strong enough to produce the 50 watts I fear that we have widespread damage outside so I don't think I'd like to see 50 watts out of this turbine under any conditions we are in a built up area and the best place for wind turbines is in an open space away from buildings and trees basically not in a built up area so I just have to take whatever comes also it's best to mount your turbine as high as possible but as you know I am in, in a built up area and I have overhead power cables so it's on a 10 foot pole and that's about the highest I can go and I'm surrounded by trees and houses so I'm not going to see 50 watts out of my turbine and because of where I am the average wind will only produce a voltage of between 3 to 6 volts and uh, normal wind you can normal wind conditions if the wind blows a bit harder it might go up to 8 or 9 volts but these voltages will not charge the batteries so that's why I bought the voltage converter model module so I have a switch here the wire from the wind turbine comes to the center position of the switch and then, then in the on position the wire then feeds through to the voltage converter and to the meter and charge controller in the off position it goes straight to the meter and the charge controller and bypasses the voltage converter the voltage converter is for normal day normal wind use where I need to boost the voltage to get the charge controller to cut in okay this boost the voltage it will take between the 3 to 6 volts under normal conditions and the 8 to 9 volts when the wind blows stronger and it boosts it to over 13 volts to activate the charge controller and charge the batteries <coughs> the only caveat with this is that I won't see high powers generated using the voltage converter Typically, you see 0 0.2, 3 to, to 0 0.5 watts, 0 0.6 watts. In a stronger breeze, it might go up to 1, 2 watts, maybe 3 watts peak. But under normal conditions, I would not be charging the batteries at all, so 3 watts into the batteries is better than nothing. So that enables me to get some power production and uh, normal wind type conditions where I would normally not get any so that's the whole idea of the voltage converter it cost me under three pounds from eBay and it does a good job it puts a small trickle in over a longer period but what I found is if the wind is blowing very strongly and if the wind turbine can reach 13 volts under its own steam I will put the switch in the bypass position and that way I can extract more power from the turbine I got the 21 watts out of the turbine when it was connected straight through the switch in the in the straight through position so that's how this system works as I said before it's not my own original idea I saw another YouTuber doing this on YouTube so I thought I'd give it a go he said that his converter module cost him £15 so I saw this one on eBay for under £3 it can handle currents of up to 4 amps though as I said I won't be seeing that unless I have a a small gale blowing outside So. It's just a way to get a usable output from the, the wind charger under less favourable conditions. So.
So that is how I have my setup connected to the Rutland 504, which is outside on the 10 foot aluminium pole. And I live in a built up area, which is not the greatest place for a wind turbine. So that's how it's connected up. This is Solar Tiger showing you my wind power setup. And thank you for watching. So this is Solar Tiger saying thank you and goodbye. I would normally show you a view of outside, but since it's pitch black, you would not see the wind turbine. So I'm not bothering this time. So until next time, this is Solar Tiger saying goodbye. And thank you for watching. Thank you.